Welcome to the 42 Podcast, where we discuss life together, looking for answers to life, the universe, and well, everything else. Here are your hosts, Rob and Lindsay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. What last. are you drinking? Oh, uh, me. Yes, I am drinking a screwdriver, some orange juice, a healthy amount of vodka, <laughs> I thought you were going to say a healthy amount of orange juice there for a minute. <laughs> well, I'm drinking Mad Elf. It's the middle of October, but you know what? I found it. I'm drinking it. So here's to you and the past two years. Cheers. And to all of our audience for the past two years. Cheers. <laughs> Do you have one of those cool... Uh Beer stores that have like super obscure, you know, where did you find that then? Like, how did you find that? You realize I live by Trog. So they just sell, they just have everything in store, in the store. Like if, if Trog was to announce Mad Elf was not going to be produced this year, there may be a riot in my area. So they're already making it or it's just like there, they just keep it stocked. They're already making it. So they switched over. So... I, Trog is by Hershey, and oh! Hershey is within a reasonable driving distance. Oh, by Hershey. You mean like yeah. near well, Hershey? No, I mean like, here's Hershey Park, here's a shopping plaza, oh. here's Trog's. Okay. Like, okay. you can see the roller coasters from their parking lot near Hershey. And I, I live within reasonable driving distance of Hershey, and, you know... Trog is pretty much the beer of choice here. Hmm. And do they sell at gas stations so. down there? Do, like, do they sell in stores or can you only get it at their <laughs> location? <laughs> so Pennsylvania is screwy with their liquor laws. You're only just beginning to get things like uh, beer at a gas station. Hmm. It's only been in the past couple of years. Really? Um, and... You, the supermarket I normally go to, mm-hmm. they just, like in the past two years as well, were able to start selling wine and beer. Wow. So if, before that, if you ever wanted wine, beer, or hard liquor, you had to go to either a beer distributor or the uh, wine and spirits store. Wow. Huh. Pennsylvania is screwy, and... I think they just jacked up the state tax on liquor by like three bucks or something. I I don't know. I need to look into that. Mm. Hmm. But yeah, so I mean, we get the Trog stuff pretty quick because once they shut down production on one thing, they'll start up another and, you know, we're close. So we get that distribution. Yeah. Do you like stock up on stuff? No, I... Beer is like a special drink for me. I don't get it often. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we would do a big youth trip, and I'd get back from that youth trip, and I'd have, like, a Trog's Double Bock in the fridge just waiting for me for when I get back, where it's, okay, it's been been a long week. I'm going to sit down by the campfire, put my feet up, and just pretend the world doesn't exist. (laughs) So it's... Yeah. I, I don't keep beer in the house. It's something that, yeah, this is a special treat. Cool. Yeah. You? Me what? <laughs> you? You keep beer in the house? I mean... I- not really. I mean, um, <laughs> I try not to drink beer too much because of the carbs, which is silly mm. because of all the other things <laughs> I cheat on, but... um. Where every once in a while we'll get we'll get some Miller or um, yeah, but no, we don't we we can't afford to have it in the fridge all the time by any means. So it's sort of we've 
started to budget better and we do it like on the weekends and stuff. Have some in the fridge or some vodka. We have this amazing grocery, um, a grocery gas station and they have everything you could possibly want. And so we go there for all our liquor needs and beer. And they have this amazing cooler with tons of choices and they have really good stuff. Like that voodoo I was telling you about. Um, yeah. yeah, they had some uh, voodoo at the uh, at the shop I went to. I was like, eh, maybe I'll get some, but no, I'd rather get I'd rather get uh, Mad Elf if they have it, and that's what I did. Oh. You know what I like doing is I love going to local breweries or mm. breweries in your state, and then getting the pint glass <laughs> from their mm. facility, and then like you have the cool pint glass, and like you've been to their place, and you've had like the the flight, isn't that what they call it? A flight where you try all their samples, and that's so fun. I like that. I like tours of places. Of, of, be so, of breweries. Out in western PA, where I used to live years back, between that young adult program and now, uh, there was a great, great pub in uh, Slippery Rock. It was called North Country. had a Celtic feel to it. It, it was amazing. The pastor, actually, <laughs> the pastor I worked for introduced Melinda and I to it. <laughs> and uh, it had a great atmosphere. And for a while, they even had like that mug club where you could pay whatever it was a month and show up. And they had your mug. And it was this Celtic-looking, beautiful mug. And you could get it filled. I never joined it, but I always thought it was a neat idea. Mm. Hmm. But, yeah, so I get that. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. And now you have put me in the position I was hoping to get to later in this. <laughs> yes? So I'm doing a thing. Yes, tell us about your upcoming plans. Yeah. Uh, a... I don't know. Timings are always funny. You and I mentioned this a couple episodes back. It was like four episodes back or so. Because I had been pitching, you know, what what comes next for the 42 and kind of seeing where things were heading, reading the writing on the wall. And it, it, the original pitch I gave to you was what if we change the name and kind of general concept of the podcast? Mm -hmm. you remember that? Yep. Yeah. And that was a private conversation, but we also hinted at it a little bit with one of the conversations we had. And the name is born out of a conversation with my kids and, and my wife, Melinda, where we were driving somewhere talking about how the 42 has been going. And my kids are like, oh, yeah, you guys are like drunk squirrels sometimes. <laughs> Just yeah. that idea of, ooh, squirrel. And so <laughs> it's stuck. It's stuck in the back of my head of, okay, I like that name. That feels like a very pub name. Mm. And then everything started happening with the 42 and with where we were going in our direction and deciding to to shut this down. And so out of that... I'm starting a brand new pod podcast called The Drunk Squirrel. Cool. And the concept of it is that it is one of the great equalizers of friendship and camaraderie of, hey, let's go get a drink. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if it's at a pub or a coffee shop or a restaurant, whatever. It's that idea of we can look and at least say, yes, we do need to drink th something. Mm -hmm. Coffee or beer, whatever it may be, let's just go get a drink. Mm -hmm. And so that's the concept of the podcast. I've got a couple interviews with people lined up in the very near future where it's going to be, okay, we're going to sit down and what are we drinking? And we'll talk about what we're drinking and then we'll talk about the different areas of expertise or life that we're going through. And what that is, I'll, I'll do some solo episodes where it's just me talking through life and ponderings and yeah. 
pondering sounds weird, but it, Me- it'll be... Your meandering self. Yeah, it'll be a reflection of, of yeah. who I am in a lot of ways, but also looking ahead towards, uh, you know, episodes I have coming up of, okay, well, you know, I don't know much about this. Here's what I do know. I'm bringing someone on in a week or, well, it'll be like every, I'm I'm aiming for doing two a month. Mm-hmm. So that's... one that's me and then once a guest. And mm-hmm. I, I feel like for where I'm at in life, that's a good pace. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's a good idea. Yeah. So, so, interesting. So if you have somebody <laughs> on who's a cook, you would talk about cooking or you'd talk about mm. um, food or something. I'm actually excited for that one because I was considering a few people who I know are really good with cooking. Mm-hmm. And it, those episodes might be, okay, we're going to sit down with food. Mm-hmm. And share recipes and things like that. So I, it'll vary every week a little bit by who, who's on the topic. But the idea is just, hey, there's this thing, life. We learn by experience, talking, interacting, and we go from there. Cool. I like that. So, and seeking one of the great equalizers of, okay, we can all, again, everyone needs a drink. Mm-hmm. Whether it's water or beer, you know, you pick. Yep. Let's go have a drink and let's talk about it. Is this, uh, are, are a lot of your possible guests local or spread out? Spread out. So I, and I'll pull from local, from people I know, but I also want to pull from former students. I want to pull from people who are like, hey, I found this. Can I, can I join us? You know, we had Dylan on with the 42. I'd love to have Dylan back with the drunk squirrel. I'd love to have, uh, you know, a handful of people we've had over the years. Uh, TJ, who we had a year and a half ago. Already? Can't believe that was already a year and a half ago. It's been a year and a half. Shoot. You know, so he he is uh, working with me a little bit on possibly doing the music. Still trying to get that finalized. But uh, if if I can get him, he's going to be the first interview I do. He's got to wait for a couple pieces of life to settle. But that's what I'm working on. And yeah. That's I've got cool. another guy lined up already as a second interview, and he he's all excited. I, I gave the topic, and he was like, oh, yeah, that, that would be perfect. So yeah. Fun. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, the pieces are falling into place, and... You know, a a element of the forty two will continue, but this is going to be the drunk squirrel. Cool, good. So everybody, stay tuned and hear, listen for well. It'll be updates. It'll be on all the it'll be on all the normal podcast channels, but you know the the hosting's changing. This will change. It'll be separate. Yeah, and this is just going to sort of so. go to bed, right? I mean, it'll still be on. It's like it's it'll still be on, right? Yeah, it, it just it just. And, and I'm working on what that part of it is, that behind the scenes technical side, because where you and I are at right now is we're recording this episode two weeks out. Yeah. From its release, so it's okay. That technical side, what does that look like? Yeah. How do you shut down the podcast? Because with the service that we use, you know, we're paying a monthly fee for our upload and storage. So then switching all of that over and yeah. Because it's in like the cloud now, right? It's not like stored anymore. Kind of. I, I, I've i got to figure out a few more things and get some time to read, which I'm going to this weekend. Because mm-hmm. while I'm shutting this down, I'm starting up another one that's, a, you know, it'll be a separate channel but on all the it's an interesting little bit of how does that work what do i need to do and how do i not delete everything yeah which you know there's no pressure on that because we're just shy of 100 episodes Uh, that alone is about 100 (laughs) hours of work of listening yeah at least so how do i not delete all of that Mm -hmm. so and and, i mean i've got a backup hard drive about a about 500 gigs 
of what this has been. Yeah. I suspect that stopping paying for your for the subscription can't erase all the platforms it's on because it's not sort of seems like it's not tied yeah. to the plat to the podcasting platform anymore. It's sort of out there. It's been born. So I'm Yeah, I there's a little bit I gotta figure out. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll still be findable. You know. This isn't going away. It's it's gonna exist. So Yeah. Cool. That's a little bit of the technical end of closing. But you know, here's the bigger and better question for you and, and everyone else listening. Was there a favorite episode we did? I think the funnest episodes to do were the Star Wars ones. <laughs> I loved the Star Wars episodes. They were probably the most fun to do. <laughs> I really enjoyed the swearing episode. Yeah, that was, that was fun. That was a good one, too. Just kind of breaking from that norm of what people expect with me. And it, I try not to swear. I do. I know all the swear words. <laughs> but that was a fun one. That was yeah. a fun one. Sometimes I think of what someday when my kids are more technologically savvy, if they <laughs> scroll through what will oh. stick out to them and... How much will I regret it? <laughs> yeah, we'll so have some... to my kids, if you ever find this, I love you guys. I'm sorry if some of the stories I've told may embarrass you, but understand, I love you. <laughs> At some point, I'm going to be old and decrepit in a nursing home, and you'll have plenty of embarrassing stories to tell your family and friends. Yeah. 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 Dad tried to escape from the nursing home. He started digging out with a spoon last night. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been a good ride, though. I've learned a lot about myself. It's definitely been part of my process of um, growth. My spiritual journey um you've been a really good partner because you make me want to uh get more solid answers under me underneath me and um you've been so patient with me because I know there are several episodes that have happened in this podcast that I feel a little embarrassed because I was kind of mean to you. I was pretty mean. <laughs> I wasn't very nice and I was frustrated and emotional and I'm embarrassed about that now, but um, it is, it's part of the process. It's part of exactly where I was and where I am is just, it's all so raw. You got me really, you got me at a raw place in my life. So that's kind of why some of the episodes are a little messy. <laughs> but I think that's been the one of the beautiful things with the 42 is it wasn't meant to be neat and packaged and pretty. It's just, hi, here's who we are, flaws and all. Mm. You know, I, I don't come off perfect in all of the episodes and... Goodness, there are times that you definitely challenged what is my education and my background. I'm like, well, crap, I need to go and brush up on all of this. And that, to me, that was always the beauty of it. Yes, there are days you frustrated me, but, <laughs> you know, that's life. People are going to frustrate you. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean we throw them out the window and we're done with them. Take the hits, take a deep breath, and know that tomorrow's a new day, and it might be a new day for them, too. Yeah. <laughs> At least that's what I try to do. Yeah. Yeah. But, was there a favorite book? Hmm. Well, I think the book that generated the best conversation was your pick. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Jesus and John Wayne. That was probably the best conversation we had. Um, but I think the book I enjoyed the most. Hmm. Again, I enjoyed Leviathan, which was way back then. Oh, wow. Yeah. I really liked that book. That was fun. I still talk, I still think about that book and it comes up in conversations sometimes with people. Did liked... you ever finish the other two in the Leviathan series? No. You need to. Yeah. Leviathan, Behemoth, and Goliath, I think. Yeah, I might track them down for my library at school because they're really interesting. Uh, you need, well, yeah, you need to. They're good books. Yeah. So. And then a book. Sorry, as we, hmm? as we started talking about this, I was reminding myself, oh, yeah, I need to get my copy of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the, the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Because like a weekend or two ago, both my father and I referenced two different points of it. And Ray was like, what? What is this book you speak of? <laughs> so it's time to, uh, to hand it to him. Yeah. And pray for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? What, what, what did you like the best of the books we read? Enjoy. What did you enjoy the most? Oh, I, I, I don't know if I can even say with a straight face. <laughs> the Wolf's Hour. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think, not I think, I, I enjoyed when we talked about and did The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. I did, because it was... It was like that safe book that we both loved and enjoyed from two different ends of it. And, you know, there, there was still that bigger contention back then when we did that. Because that was early in the podcast. It was like the second book I did. we did, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, that was, was a good book to, to talk about, yeah. Well, and I mean, it's the root of the 42s in that book. And kind of the shared humor that you and I can understand through reading and that that highbrow but low kick English humor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> highbrow, low kick, I like that. <laughs> I Yeah. It's the best way to phrase it. It's yeah. highbrow but low kick. Like, yeah. oh wow, that's very intellectual, but holy crap, I just got kicked in the crotch. <laughs> yeah. It's, it was you know, that was fun. Yeah. So I mean to like, that was always kind of the level of things I wanted to do with the book club was these unifying moments. So, like, when you say a great discussion starter was Jesus and John Wayne, I actually regret that. Oh, really? I regret that choice. Hmm. Yeah. Because it, it was a good discussion starter, but, you know, there was a lot of grief because yeah. I've been in... You and I have been in in broken churches and situations, and then, oof. Yeah. Yeah, that was a tough one. It was sort of a gut punch for you. Yeah. I I regret that choice. Yeah. That's I, the, that's I the needed risk. to read it. That's the risk of, of, of uh, picking a book you haven't read yet, but I kind of like that, too, because you're... Because of the risk, I guess. You don't know what you're getting into. Speaking of books, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. so one of the things that is a unfinished bit is the challenge that you and I had said we were going to try and do for 2022, Yeah. to read, what, <laughs> 50 books, and I was going to do 60 books? Yes, so update me. How are you doing? I am at 48, mm -hmm. I think, and I know you love it. I understand you love it. But you now it. that we are, no, no, no. Now that we are done, yeah, with the podcast, I am never touching Goodreads again. Oh, that's funny. Just, I, I hate that platform. Interesting. Like it feels clunky and just no. I any time I've tried to log a book in that, I've been like, I will murder my phone. That's weird. I never have a problem with it. I hate it. I have read forty-two of my fifty-five books. I'm technically one book behind schedule, but I'm currently reading 
Oh, uh, let's see. I'm reading six books right now. Harriet the Ooh. Spy, Red Wall, The Skeptic's Guide to the Universe, Black House, Hatchet, and The Demon Haunted World. <laughs> and all of them, three of those are for school. So, but I'm counting it anyway, because why not? Yeah, uh, I am finishing The World's Last Light, a collection of essays by Lewis. Mm -hmm. Cochran, which is a book about Thomas Cochran. Uh, do you ever watch Master and Commander? I'm reading the Russell books. Russell Crowe. I'm reading the book by that was based... I'm reading his book right now. I mean, I have his the book. Master. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to read the actual history of Master and Commander, of Russell Crowe's character? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, no, you I do. don't. No, his, I just... I, his, I'll read the book, though. I've his never... name was Thomas Cochran, mm -hmm. and it is fantastic. Hmm. So, uh, hmm. I yeah, have, so I have all those books, by the way, all of them. Some, a lady at my book club that I go to had them and I have all of them. She gave them to me. Thomas Cochran, Napoleon called him the sea wolf and England loved and hated him. Read the true history. It's really good. Hmm. I still need to read the book. All right, fine. I need to read the book. <laughs> well, read the book I'm going to read, the, first read book the real history and see if I like it. If I don't, I think I'm going to sell them. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I don't remember what. Sorry, we got side trailed there, and there was a third book I've been picking at. Oh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Still? Uh, yeah, I know. I get like two pages in every three months. <laughs> yeah. I will finish it by the end of the year. And I love Mr. Rogers. Sounds boring. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, he was Okay, being in youth ministry, being from Pittsburgh, I mean that's kind of the the goal of what I'm doing is what he did is to be that gentle spirit. Now I'm not I I'm a gentle spirit in my way, but I'm not going to go and stop eating meat because things have mothers, but mm -hmm. being that gentle spirit with kids. So, mm -hmm. so I, I've read Mr. Rogers biographies in the past. I love them. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. That's interesting. Yeah. Minor rabbit trail. There you go. <laughs> Squirrel. Junk squirrel. Oh, wait. Wrong pod podcast. <laughs> Coming soon to a podcast platform near you. <laughs> ah. All right. What's the first thing you're doing with a free Saturday? I'm going. I'm, I've been. S well, actually, I might go to the library and work on my library at school. Or repair books and do work on my books and stuff, but um, there I've been listening to. Oh, I've been studying about things like evolution and um, some history stuff. I'm listening to this woman named Paula Friedman right now, who's written a couple books oh. on history. She wrote a book about sin and like the history of sin and the yeah, idea. Yeah, I think I've, I've heard the name before. If I haven't read she, something from she's her, she's pretty cool. So I'm listening to. One podcast right now, it's a series about the historical Jesus and what we actually can know and mm. extrapolate from history. And um, she's, it's really interesting. So I'm mm. re I'm listening to that, reading that. I'm, I mean, not reading. I'm listening. I'm looking at the subtitles. <laughs> so I'm reading it and listening to it and listening to a couple other things. So just enjoying that and taking notes like crazy so, and I figured out how to take long, did I tell you this? How to take long videos from YouTube, like long, mm. like six hours of video, like audiobook length. Take them, put them into Audible, I mean Audacity, put them into Audacity and then cut it up into tracks by subject. <laughs> so I can, and I've, I did that, remember that? 
Trent Horn and Cosmic Skeptic video I shared with you. I yeah. took that whole thing and cut it up into bits by subject. And I put it, I figured out how to put it in an album in my music app on my phone so I could find what I want to listen to and how I, you know, so I can find it again. So anyway, I figured out how to do that. And now it's like, oh, what else can I do that with? <laughs> <laughs> so it's been really uh, fun. So I'll do stuff like such that. such a geek. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that in love. Yeah, I am. I am definitely geeky. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll say this first. We may not be doing the 42 podcast, but I'm always here. If you have questions, you need to talk, you know that. I do. And I appreciate it. And that. you have a standing invitation to the drunk squirrel. So. Second, I'm going to wake up this Saturday. I'm going to roll over and I am not going to curse morning people and go back to bed. <laughs> It is exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> it is the one day a week I get to to sleep in, and guess what? I'm I'm not going to curse morning people. Oh, good. I'm glad I'm giving that back to you. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> like it wasn't the time we started podcasting, but it was definitely the fact I had to be up. Like an hour and a half before then, and then kids are up, and breakfast became involved, and trying not to drink too much coffee before we sit down and podcast, but I need coffee so I don't murder people. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Instead, I can just r- roll over and go back to bed. You can go back to sleep now. I can tell Melinda it's now her turn to wake up early on a Saturday morning. <laughs> I'm going to get murdered this Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit of an adjustment uh, for Mel. Yeah. <laughs> but now we'll figure that out. Yeah. I'll miss it, but at the same time, it's also good. It's good to have new things to move into. It's good to celebrate what has been and what can be. And Yeah. Yeah, it's been really good. I remember when you first told me about this, I was like, what? You want to do what? I, okay, oh. so we're. I was going to hang on to that for a bit, but yeah, let's go there. I was like, Colby, listen to this. I heard from this guy. From, this madman from, from my like past. From ten years ago. <laughs> anyway... He texted me out of the blue and has a crazy idea, and he wants me to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of felt like, ah, this isn't going to happen. But it did. It did happen. I, so, the idea of a podcast had gotten planted in my head like a year before. And I just couldn't find someone who was on board with me with the idea. Mm Mm-hmm. And I kept thinking through everyone I knew, and I kept seeing some of the social media posts that you were putting up at that time. Mm -hmm. And then we started interacting, and I went, okay, wait a minute. Lindsay and I have the history that would allow us to, to be able to talk openly, bluntly, and even harshly if needed. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, <laughs> I feel horrible, kind of. Like, in the episode two weeks ago, I made the joke about, you know, people smacking me on the butt and I love your mother. <laughs> the whole reference to that is, for a period of time, you and I looked like we could have been twins. Yeah, because we basically had the same haircut. <laughs> well, I was growing my hair longer and you were keeping your hair shorter. Yeah. Yep. And we were, we had similar builds. Sorry. Yeah. Well. I was also a very skinny guy. <laughs> like, very skinny. I was the football in some football games kind of guy. <laughs> um, so that's, I'm trying to make sure it's seen not as a knock on you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, your mother confused us. 
and definitely smacked me on the butt. Yeah. But it was it it was yeah. out of stuff like that where it's in a lot of ways not only in our physical build but <laughs> in how we think and interact. Yep. We had a lot of similarities of pattern. Okay, where am I digging a hole? No, it's just the, in my mom. Just the just the visual of my mom smacking your butt is just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen her face and my face. <laughs> Did and she, then your mom's face is almost did she just as laugh? horrified, like, oh, gosh. A little, yeah. Yeah. Well, what, you were standing there. You were, like, the opposite side of that circle. I think staring I, had, at her I, like, I was so embarrassed. I blocked it out. I just <laughs> could not believe she did that. And I was, <laughs> it was, I was so embarrassed. Your mother, you are a marvelous woman if you're listening to this. You are. You've raised amazing young ladies. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And yep. hey, to be to be mixed up as one of her children, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> there are worse things in life. Yeah. Ew. But no, it was it was looking at the similarities and differences that you and I had and going, I think we could do this. I think we could get away with mm. starting something that is Contrary. Mm-hmm. Opposite ends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I called you, or you called me, I don't remember, but we had a FaceTime call. I was driving home from a Christian education meeting at the church, mm-hmm. and we called to actually start talking about it. And at one point, you're like, all right. I need to go get a beer. <laughs> I'm like, all right, sounds great. I'm like five to ten minutes away from home. Oh, I didn't have anything. I stopped at the liquor store on my way home and picked up some scotch. Yeah. And we sat down Yeah. on a video call talking through the initial stages of establishing the 42. Yeah. And back then we didn't have it as the 42. It was something like deep thought or it, it was still kind of a... Hitchhiker's reference, but we didn't know what. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Wow. It was. But you did that whole. Mm-hmm. You went outside and it was fall and you had like a beanie on and everything's. You're all dark, but the windows behind you are nice and bright, so you're being this. Oh yeah. Dark character. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I remember now. Yeah, and I'm going. Am I getting into a podcast with a mugger? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I kid. I kid. Yeah. And I I just can't over emphasize what my state was at that time. And you were so patient with me and it was that was rough, really. That was a really rough time for me. And we had some really intense conversations. And I don't think I would have processed things like I did um, without without you on the other end. And I'm thankful for that. So. I'm thankful that you let me be a part of that journey. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because... I, it, it's been wild. I mean, we've had our ups and downs. We've been all over the place, and you know, it has been good. Um, and I am grateful for it. But it's been good to walk with you, mm. and I'm incredibly thankful for what has been the two, the past two years of that. I don't know what it'll be for us moving forward, but. I still have every intention of, and sometimes I'm horrible with this, but trying to keep in touch, trying to keep our conversations. Mm -hmm. And you have that carte blanche of, if you need something, you have a question, I'm here. Yeah. You're a safe person to talk to. I think you're probably the safest person besides my husband to talk to. So. I... If anybody needs somebody to talk to, 
Rob's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> See, and this is where it comes back to that Mr. Rogers stuff where it was, mm. he was that person who was always safe. Yeah. And that's what I want to be for my students. That I w- that's what I want to be for the church where it's okay. <laughs> we can ask questions. We can talk about some of the worst. Uh, I've been in youth ministry. I have had some horrifying questions and conversations and ones that have led to, okay, I I've got to go and do this now legally and report and, you know, mm-hmm. but you know, I'm, I'm thankful to be in that position to be able to walk with people. Now the flip side. So it's not just you who's learned from this podcast or been able to grow from this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, how I preach and speak has even changed because of our conversations, because of the challenges that you have offered, how I've had to think through what we talk about and even present because you, you like things in A, B, C order. Mm. (laughs) And I'm a drunk squirrel. (laughs) <laughs> Coming to a podcast platform near you. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm a circular thinker. Mm-hmm. You know, A, eh, we can bounce over here to C, B, D, E, whatever. I, I just, I go in that loop. Mm-hmm. But speaking with and thinking through things with you, I've learned to be able to present things a little bit better. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I've learned to be able to, not learned, I've found what my voice is. Mm. I, it, it sounds weird, but like I have never been comfortable with my voice. And then sitting down and editing episodes that are like hour long, listening to me speak, instead of getting cringy, it's been, okay, wait a minute, I, I don't have the voice that I perceive I have. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So getting comfortable with what is my voice, what is my pattern and and tone and speech. Yeah. It's like funny. in your he- in your head, you hear your voice differently than you speak, right? Yeah. Yeah. And in your head, how do you sound to yourself? I don't really know how to answer that question exactly. I, well, I am very critical of myself. (laughs) See, there it is. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, oh, sometimes I'm in the middle of talking and I'm like, why the frick am I saying this? This has nothing to do with anything. I shouldn't have said this. This is dumb. (laughs) Yeah, well, saying stupid is not uncommon, but mine was always like, oh, I have, like, this high-pitched girlish voice. Oh. That's how I hear my voice. Oh. No, oh, you definitely have a good voice for podcasting. <laughs> I love your voice. I hardly ever have to touch it and edit it. My voice has but been annoying all the way through. That's just it, though. I mean, I've had to try and figure out what... Not try and figure out. Before we podcasted, that was my perception of my voice, and it's even changed how I hear it now. I can hear a difference. Oh, yeah. In perception and and speech. And that was always an insecurity for me when I'd get up and preach, where I felt like I was going, Hi, my name is Rob, and I want to tell you about Jesus. Hey, that, yeah. You have a nice, full, bassy voice, and I am jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous of your voice. It's a good voice. Uh, I want James Earl Jones' voice. <laughs> Good luck. I don't think they have voice I mean, transplants. Do they? Let me well, go. isn't it true that if you're touching him when he dies, you get his voice? <laughs> isn't that how that works? That's a bizarre story idea. <laughs> That's like Elisha and Elijah and the passing of the mantle. Oh, right, right. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> I will be Darth Vader from this point forward. <laughs> you know what we have not talked about? Hmm? And I'd, it's a spot to, I guess, 
draw us to a close. We haven't talked about Andor. No, I was just thinking of that because I have finally just seen the first episode last night. Just the first? Yeah. I just saw oh, the first episode because we've been busy and I've been studying things and he's been doing other things. And so we just watched the first one and I did like it. I love that guy. He's a great. Um... Sorry. You I... Look, if you like the first one, you got to get to the second one. I think we might watch the second one tonight. Yeah, you I need really to watch it. the second one. I, I'm current on it. But I, I'm watching them back with my son, and oh my gosh, I, that show is amazing. Obi Wan was good, but I signed me up for Andor. Really? Huh? Oh, cool. And Obi Wan's my guy. He's my magic space wizard. Yeah. Andor. It's that gritty. This is your story. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, Colby had mentioned it's like it's not a western. Like a lot of the other ones have a western feel to it. In this one, there's no deserts for one thing, and which is like yeah, the icing yeah. on the cake. But uh, G- give it them five minutes. They'll find a desert. Grittier and more drama than westerny, which was it's his good. his observation. Which I thought, yeah, that's good. Well, when you finish, we'll have to talk privately, and yeah, yeah, still geek out on Star Wars stuff. Anytime. Oh, that can be a given for the drunken squirrel if you ever want me to come on and we talk about Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> well, again, you have a standing invitation. You're not going to be on every time, but you, you have a standing invitation. You want to come on. We can talk Star Wars. We can talk the past. We can talk the future. Whatever. Yep. Yep. So. It's been yeah. a good ride. And... And, as a minor side note, some of you who, there were two people who I had talked about having on in the near future, your names have been moved from the 42 over to the Drunk Squirrel, coming to a podcast platform near you. (laughs) Sorry, I'm done. No, I'm not. (laughs) But, yeah, I want to get some of our old guests on as well. Yeah, this has been good. It's been good from the people we've gotten to talk to, the books we've read, to the conversations we've had. Yep. How you doing? Good. (laughs) I'm good. I'm happy. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Lindsay. Don't make me cry. (laughs) Lindsay. What? Thank you for going on what has been this wild, crazy, entertaining, and incredible journey of running a podcast for the past two years. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you. Thank you, too. (laughs) I'm not crying. (laughs) You're crying. (laughs) <laughs> I, I'm man crying right now. I'm just sweating under my eyes. <laughs> so it's been good. It's been really good, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It has. And to our and audience, in that same breath. Hmm? Yep. Hmm? Oh, is that where you're yep. going? Yep. To our audience, if you've stuck to those who have stuck with us from the beginning, holy cow! Thank you so much for being there, and. We love you. I probably know you. (laughs) Thank you. And for those who are just stumbled on this episode, there's a lot more behind you. So backtrack. There's like almost 100 episodes for you to listen to. Good luck finding a topic. (laughs) We jump around a bit, but it was fun. Like a drunk squirrel. Yeah. Coming to a podcast platform near you. Thank that you, joke got old. Audience. All right. Yes, thank you to everyone who has been listening to us from the beginning, from the middle, from wherever you joined in. Thank you. You guys have been an amazing part of this journey from feedback, interaction, friendship, 
joining us on the podcast. Thank you. Yeah. Lindsay? Rob? Goodbye. Bye, Rob. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the 42 Podcast. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And if you want to join in on the conversation, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter to add your voice to the conversation. Thank you.